Hi, this is Lady Shell. I'd like to welcome you to my series, which I'm calling Fantasy Grounds Tips for Beginners. I've compiled 25 tips, each with its own description in the title, so that you can look at the playlist and pick and choose which of the subjects interest you the most. The first uh, 15 tips that I have on here are aimed towards players, and the final 10 are aimed towards DMs. You can tell which ones are which by looking at the DM in parentheses after the title name, and those are the ones that are aimed towards a DM. So you can choose which one you're most interested in learning about. Each of these videos will be about maybe three minutes to 10 minutes long, so they're not really super time intensive. So I hope that you will enjoy watching these videos and it will help you learn a little bit about Fantasy Grounds. If you are a longtime user of Fantasy Grounds, you may not find these tips as interesting because, again, I am aiming these at brand new users so that you can see what Fantasy Grounds has to offer you for your gaming. So let's sit back and relax and hopefully you will learn something new. The topic today is going to be setting up a new campaign and loading a module. Now, generally speaking, setting up a campaign is for the DM to do, but everybody is a DM when you have your own table. It's the fact of having people access your table is where you're really the DM. But we're going to load and we're going to create a new campaign because when you want to create characters or if you want to add content to your uh, account, you will have to have a campaign in which to um, locate it or find it. So we are going to create a new a campaign. So we click the create new campaign button. We're going to give it a title. I'm going to call it Lady Shell's New Campaign because I'm just so interesting like that. Now I am most familiar with the 5e rule set and you will notice that a lot of my tips are based on 5e. If I have um, something that is for all rule sets, I will make a note of it, but you can pretty much bet that most of the stuff that I'm going to be talking about is based for the 5e rule set. Now, I choose, after I choose the role set, I get a list of extensions which I have downloaded. And I'm only going to load a couple of them right now. I'm going to load the core sidebar for 5e because it just makes these um, colorful banners on the right hand side. And I just like the way that it looks. And then I'm also going to load the... Fantasy Grounds College Decal, which is something that um, our Discord made for our instructors to use when teaching classes. And the final two that I'm going to load are the Montserrat Font Big, which is a font that uh, one of our instructors, Matakuri, created. It is, uh, makes the text bigger so that you don't have to squint. <laughs> because once you get a certain age, things are harder to read. The final thing that I'm going to load is the Window Saver extension. So once I've loaded those things, I've got my rule set and I've got my couple extensions. I'm going to click the Start button and we're going to wait for the page to load. While we're waiting for the page to load, why don't we look at the little tip that they gave us down in the login screen here. It says category tabs can be created or deleted by the right click radial menu. Actually a lot of things in Fantasy Grounds can be accessed by right clicking on things. You'll see that for spells and for just maps and all kinds of stuff. So I just uh, dis dismissed the um, 
login information thing there. And this is my window saver. But this is a brand new campaign. Now, Windows, the window saver just lets, uh, it will show you the way that your screen looked when you used it last. Since I never used it last, this is not going to do anything for me. So I am going to dismiss that also. Now, we wanted to talk about loading a module. To load a module, you have to have purchased the content and have it in your account and remember to update it. But to load anything, you're going to go to the library tab. These are those colorful banners I was talking about before. You click on the library and I like to have a double row of the uh, tabs over here and it lists more tabs than on the single mode there so that I have access to more things. But the only thing we really need to do is we need to click on the module button here, this bottom left button. And once we do that, we can see the content that we have in our account. Now I have a lot of account, I have a lot of uh, content in my account. So I'm going to say if you are looking for something, you might be looking for the player's handbook because that's a good starter piece of content to get. It helps you, uh, gives you information that you can make characters with the this particular book. You don't need to load, you don't need to buy every book in the store to, you know, just do beginner stuff. You can actually make a character using the standard rules which are available without you buying anything. It comes with your Fantasy Grounds account. So I'm going to click, uh, go in this left box here and I'm going to type the word player and hit enter. And it's going to give me all the things that have the word player in the title. I am looking for the D&D &D Player's Handbook. This is the 5e rule book for uh, players. So all you do is click the load button and when this book opens up, that means your, your module is loaded. And that is how you load a module. And there's the content. If you click on the link here, you get the different things. This is what's within the book, including the reference manual, which is exactly like having the actual physical book in your hands. It has all the photographs and all the text that you can find in the hardcover book. So that is my tip for today on creating, on uh, opening a module, creating an account, and, uh, not an account, creating a campaign and opening a module. So I hope that you found this interesting. If you have any comments, please leave them below. And I will be checking and I will answer any questions that anybody has down there. I hope that you are enjoying my tips and will continue to watch the rest of the tips in this series. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.